Wildfire crews are expected to conduct a controlled burn on the southeast flank of the White Rock Lake wildfire Wednesday afternoon. And Fire Information Officer Hannah Swift says the planned ignitions are the safest and most effective way to control the fire's perimeter. A planned ignition is an operational tactic that we use very commonly um, and it's used in areas where either the fire behavior is too active or where the fire is burning is in very steep terrain where we can't actually safely place our crews. Um, so we use these planned ignitions so that we can bring the fire down to an area where we'll, we will actually be able to effectively secure it and apply water directly to the fire's edge. So what we call this is an indirect, indirect attack method. And so, for example, if it was very active fire behavior, we can't get close enough to the fire to effectively put it out. And so we take a step back and we move, um, how, you know, however far away from the fire as required. It could be one kilometer back, two kilometers back, where we can effectively have heavy machinery operating in an area where they won't be outrun by the fire perimeter. And so they can effectively get in there and build machine guard where we can then have our crews ready and prepared, and then bring the fire perimeter down to that area when conditions are favorable so that it actually allows for a much lower intensity fire um, that doesn't um, have high tree mortality rates as it otherwise would um, under, you know, drought conditions and extreme fire behavior as we were seeing. A 3,000 hectare planned ignition was set to be conducted on Wednesday, but due to unfavorable conditions, it will have to be pushed to a later date. And in order to complete these planned ignitions, several factors have to be taken into consideration. Yeah, so conditions, um, it's, it's very dependent on the fuel type in the area, um, and it takes into consideration um, winds, relative humidities, and temperatures, um, as well as the time of day and any kind of other inversions that we might be seeing in the area. So there is a significant amount of planning, uh, forecasting, and data analysis that, that goes into these. The controlled burns are expected to continue out through this week, and as they do continue, residents are advised to be aware of the increased smoke in the area. Forecasting at News, I'm Victoria Famia in Vernon.